like me, like me, just like me. YouTube got me bullied a lot in primary school, but I wouldn't change anything. Like I would still, I absolutely hate the fact that YouTube, I think people don't talk about this. No. No, oh, I just did my hair. Let's bring the plant here. You know what? Why not? This shirt isn't gonna fly. This video is sponsored by myself. This is my shirt. Never mind. Joke. Joke. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I just want to sit down and real talk with you about how YouTube has changed my life in the past three years with less than 500 subscribers. I've seen a lot of people doing it, and I think I have my own takes on it. I haven't really watched any of their videos, but the idea was cool to me, and I just adopted it. This video is not going to be very visual. There's not going to be a lot going on on the screen, so you can just go ahead and put on your headphones and do whatever you like doing, and just kind of listen to what I'm about to say. Say. So let's get right into this. Uh, I have written down a few little points that I'm just gonna stick to as I go through this, but I obviously I'm just gonna talk how I feel about each one of them. So let's start with kind of my history with making videos and where it all began because I realized I never talked about this. I've been making videos for more than six years now and I found my first English video in 2018, which is six years from now which is kind of insane because it has gone very quickly, but that's okay. I started by making a video on my dad's phone and I, I wanted to record like a music video to Neta's Pasa Sababa and it turned out well. I did like four hours of editing, which I thought it was like so long and now my videos easily take me 20 hours to make. The problem is I had no idea how to export it and when I tried to look for it, it was nowhere to be found. So that was kind of a waste, but it would turn out quite well for that time. That was one of my first videos that I remember editing. But then there's also a lot of English videos that I have found on my older USB keys that I'm not showing you because they're not, they're not for public. So from then on, I was just trying to make videos whenever I would go to my dad's place because my mom was always really strict about not letting me be on my phone a lot. And I also got my phone when I was 12 or 13. So... I had to start with my dad's phone and you know it was like a little more complicated than it is now however i did make quite a lot of videos that i have on my usb keys so maybe we'll do a reaction if someone wants to see this i'm gonna react to my old videos that would be quite cool i think but i have been begging my mom to let me have a youtube channel for years and then on my birthday on 2021 which was what was i 14 Yes, I think I was 14. She was like, okay, you can finally get it. This was like after I made like a hundred videos. Like, and thank God she didn't let me post any because they were really bad in the beginning. And if I had them public right now, I would be cringing. I would be deleting them as we speak. Thank God those are just on my computer. Now I've been posting quite consistently the first year, but it wasn't very edited videos. It was just things that I randomly did and I was like why can't I get 200 subscribers and after a year and a few months I got to those 100 which was really really cool and because I was just making so many videos and I really thought that I'm doing so much you know I, I wasn't I wasn't really editing them a lot but still for beginner me that was quite a lot to do I just got burnt out at some point and after like a year and a half of just posting I went on a break for nine months and when I came back I had a new new editing program. I started working in CapCut and you know it everything kind of changed because I was like going into this with a different kind of perspective, just kind of posting whenever I felt like it, so it wasn't feeling like a scheduled thing. And that did help me to, you know, not feel burnt out. At least not so far. And now this year, starting with January, I've decided to post weekly as much as I can. And so far I'm doing okay. And yes, I have seen a huge amount of growth in the past few weeks, which I'm really thankful for. And I can't wait to make so many more videos. Now let's get into what actually YouTube has changed for me. Number one thing that I think you can hear, English is not my first language. We learned English in school, but I never really liked English. When I was in kindergarten, I hated English and I just started talking a lot. And in these six years when I like made a video every once in a while when I was just talking and talking in English and then I listened to a lot of YouTube because YouTube really is like my television. I don't watch TV, but I 
who watch YouTube all the time and I listen to English speakers all the time so this really really helped me and I think you can obviously hear it that it sounds nothing like oh I'm new to this language because I'm really like I love talking English it feels it feels really nice and yes I really enjoy it so that really YouTube really taught me how to speak English like to be honest now the next thing that is pretty cool is that I've been making videos for so long that it's actually been like a little documenting of my life which is really really cool because in these years that I've grown up so much and I've changed like even my voice from a few years ago it was really really high okay so this is the puzzle the only thing that I have done is this few pieces up there and it's so funny to see that how this has changed and when you're posting on YouTube, it kind of keeps you accountable. You make this video diaries. I tried writing diaries. I never liked it. Some people just like to, you know, write every day or whatever. I record. So basically now each video, I need to show you something. And it also keeps me creative. So I don't just say like, oh, I'm going to do these huge puzzles next week. No. I'm going to do that right now because I need to post a video, right? And it keeps me much more creative than I would be, let's say, if I wouldn't be posting. And you just see throughout my videos, you just see how much progress there was from my first videos. And this is incredible to see because if you look back at your older videos and you're like, oh my God, that's really bad. That's a win for you because, you know, you have improved so much and I can see that with every single one of my videos. And I'm so, so happy for that. I think people don't talk about this. They don't realize that making YouTube videos and thumbnails and titles and everything is very much a life useful skill. You really need to get into like human psychology, not on a deep level, but like you need to understand how humans work because at the end of the day, you need to make a title and a thumbnail something that people will click. There's a lot of thinking behind this. There's a lot of training behind this. And it's going to take you a long time to really get the, the thumbnails that will get views. And it's a lot of work. It is also very useful. Like, I don't know when I'm going to need to do something like this. But just being able to edit a video is really, really useful skill right now. Because people used to have photo albums like even 10 years ago. Now you just record a video and you make a video album, literally. It's, it's that simple and I think it really shows your moments better than photos because with videos you just get everything. You get the sound and photos. So that's really amazing. The next thing is just planning all the videos and the content and how things are going. It keeps my brain busy a lot. I need to constantly be planning on okay video comes out on friday have i recorded yes have i made a title no okay let's draw this let's write this you know let's start editing it we need to make time it keeps me organized because i just need to put aside so much time to edit the video let's say every day around seven or it's just seven and a half whatever i can until nine and a half pm i will be editing videos at least this is how i try to do it and I have to, because if I don't edit a video for a day or two, there won't be a very complicated video coming out that week because it just, it I won't make it. Next thing is not as positive, but I don't think people realize how long these YouTube videos take. Uh, obviously, when I started this whole journey, my videos were really simple. They didn't really take a lot of time to do or anything. And I was just kind of posting whatever I recorded with my phone, just kind of raw footage, which wasn't the best now it's a whole lot of time uh let's say today i needed to kind of script this video i need to record it i need to edit it i need to make a thumbnail i need to make a title i need to write it out i need to post it and that is all on like a time limit but i think that's really good because even if you go to work and you have something to do until this day like if you're organized enough you're going to do it and this kind of helps me with that really um i think the last thing i really want to point out is how proud it makes me of myself in these three years of posting i am almost at 500 subscribers which i know a lot of people will be like oh that's not actually a lot you know most people can get 100 subscribers in like a few months i know it took me way longer than other people i was really bummed down when i saw that usually it takes a few months to get to 100 and i was like on my 14th month but it makes me so so proud of myself now when I see this growth that I know that my videos are worth and I really can't wait to get to a thousand because the best thing that I see with YouTube is that yes I am enjoying this as a hobby but I will be able to turn this hobby that I'm already doing for so many years into a paying job. I know that YouTube is not going to make me 
a fortune, especially when I'm a very small channel, but anything helps because until now I never had an income. Like maybe I can go work on summer and make money in those two months of breaks, but that's about it. I go to school, I can't really go to a job for a full day. So that would be really incredible. So if you feel like helping me with that, please click that subscribe button and let's get to a thousand and the four thousand watch time hours. I'm doing so much better. I'm really proud of myself. YouTube got me bullied a lot in primary school, but I wouldn't change anything. Like if I could go back, I wouldn't like not post because of that. I think that made me kind of stronger and now I can look back at those videos and I'm like, wow, I did that while I was getting bullied every day. And now like now it's, it's working out for me. Like I, I always knew it was going to work out for me, but we're finally, finally slowly getting there. And that's really incredible. Since this video is more a chill chat down, since this video is more like a chill sit down video that I'm just kind of realistically talking with y'all and not having to cut every second of it. I can also tell you that I have so much content planned for this year that when I look in front of me, it's going to be so fun. There is a huge plant shop tours in April. There is a bunch of puzzles. There's a lot of crocheting, knitting, all that kind of fun stuff. There's going to be so many plants. And now that I have the greenhouses, I can't wait to buy more. There's going to be holes and everything. And I, I absolutely hate the fact that YouTube prefers channels who only focus on one theme. I can't do that. This is why I went into YouTube because I can't just focus on one thing. I really wanted to share all of my hobbies and on Instagram, let's say I created multiple accounts dedicated to different hobbies, but I'm not posting regularly or I'm, if I'm ever posting, that's quite rare on those accounts. It's not actually possible for me to create multiple YouTube accounts just to have different themes, although that might get a few more subscribers, but it's going to be so much harder to manage them. And also I can pump out a video a week maybe for this channel. Sometimes it's not going to happen, but usually I can do it, right? I cannot pump out, let's say, three videos a week, one for each channel. And if I don't post on a channel for like months, YouTube is like, no, let's not recommend this. This is why I'm just going to put everything that I do on my channel, because at the end of the day, I really just want audiences that care about my work and just kind of videos that I make. It's not to sound selfish, like, oh, like me, like me, just like me. No, but you're not always going to get one themed videos. And I just want you all to be okay with that because it's going to happen. I really love to do more of these kind of sit down and let's just have a talk videos because it's easier to make and record and then also to just not having to You're falling down again. No, 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 no. I love having these sit down videos because it's easier for me to make them. But also I can just talk with you about stuff and I don't have to cut everything out. Uh, please uh, subscribe and like and everything. Goodbye.